Among many problems facing our great nation is illegal immigration. Our government has made very many false attempts at resolving this issue. It is affecting the lives of citizens in their pocket as well as the, their safety. With the crime increasing and job opportunities decreasing, it is time that Capitol Hill steps up and makes a ballot attempt to resolve this issue. With the increases in crime, as far as drug trafficking, terrorist activity, legal sex trade, identity theft, and violent crimes such as robbery and homicide related to those issues, our own backyard is becoming even more unprotected due to the fact that we have people that aren't even supposed to be here adding to our crime rate. Drug trafficking is a way that many illegal immigrants come in, sneak across the border, and then hide within our own communities and proceed to make money through an illegal market. Identity theft to gain these jobs that American citizens could have is another problem. There, these, these jobs that could be un obtained by American workers are being obtained by people who aren't even Americans, not even here on work visas. What this does is you have employers that are decreasing the amount of money that they will pay someone because of the fact that they will take that amount of money. When minimum wage is what it is, there are many trades such as painters, construction workers, and even public works employees who would have done, who had respectable wages not 30 years ago. Now they can't even get a job because we're looking for people that will do it for less than half of what they would get paid. Also, violent crime like robbery and homicide. You even have you have cops that are being killed by illegal immigrants due to the drug trade, um, the illegal sex trade. You have children that are kid getting kidnapped, ripped out of their own backyards to go and perform acts that are completely intolerable. Also, illegal immigration performs a Illegal immigration is a burden on the economy. It's a burden on our health care system. It's a burden on, on our economy as far as money circulation. It's also a burden to taxpayers and our government. With the health care, you have illegal immigrants coming here having babies, also known as anchor babies, that are born, they're citizens because they're born in this country. Of course, they don't have health benefits because they're not legally here. So what they so we're having to pay for the birth of children to non-citizens. They also reproduce an alarming rate. They come, they come over here, have more kids so they can get more benefits from welfare. Because now that they have a child that is a citizen, they are eligible to receive benefits from our government. Benefits that could be going to actual citizens. The cost of money to imprison and deport illegal immigrants. We imprison them for an undetermined amount of time, and then when it becomes time, we round them up, ship them back down, only for them to come right back across the border. Reproducing uh, the job market, or re reproducing jobs back into the economy would, would force us to have to enforce laws so that American citizens can actually get these jobs and not illegal immigrants many people cannot find work who would have worked before. They, and it is unfair for someone who is a, a citizen of here and born here to not be able to find work because we are not willing to do anything to crack down on employers who are not willing to pay what the labor is worth. Some solutions to this problem would include more stringent laws. Treat illegal entry as a terrorist threat. If someone were to enter your backyard, and especially in Texas, and you assume because they're on your property and you don't know who they are, you may assume that they pose a threat to you or your family. In that instance, we would act in a manner of protection. I think our country needs to take on that same philosophy. Also, we need to crack down on employers, as I previously mentioned, and propose more stringent laws. If we find that you are employing illegal workers, we give you one chance to get rid of them. If we find that you're doing it again, your business gets shut down. We also need to increase the border security. We need to add additional personnel to border security as well as get build fences with automated security such as electricity, razor wire, or possibly even minefields to prevent tunneling. Also post signs 
so that anyone, post signs in multiple languages, so that anyone trying to enter the country illegally will be forewarned that it could pose a danger to their life. It is a felony. It is a serious offense. And with the open borders you, and the terroristic threats against our country at the moment, you have terrorists that can get through with no problem. We also need to make a policy to clean up our own backyard first. We need to decrease our world mil militaristic efforts that, that where we have military around the world fighting wars that seem unwinnable when they could be securing our own backyard. And lastly, a constitutional amendment. This amendment would say that any child born to a legal immigrant is not granted citizenship. You must be a citizen to create a citizen. And that's all I have for you. Do I have any questions?